still getting stutters or lag in Fortnite even after optimizing your PC? The problem might not be your hardware, it's your setup. In this video, I'll show you the best Razer Cortex settings that actually boost FPS and make Fortnite run buttery smooth even on low-end systems. Let's lock it in. Before you jump into tweaking settings inside Razer Cortex for Fortnite, it's smart to first clean up the unnecessary clutter on your PC. Doing this frees up valuable space, improves system responsiveness, and ensures Razer Cortex can work more efficiently when applying its performance tweaks. Begin by pressing Windows key plus R to bring up the Run dialog box. In the input field, type Temp and hit Enter. This will open a folder filled with temporary files that are no longer needed by Windows. Press Ctrl Popular plus A to select all the contents, then tap the Delete key. If you get a message saying that some files can't be removed, don't worry, it just means those files are currently in use by the system, which is perfectly normal. Next, repeat the step by opening the Run dialog again, Windows key PI plus R, but this time type percent %temps with the percent signs and hit Enter. This folder contains user-specific temporary files left behind by apps and services. Again, press Ctrl plus A, then delete to clear everything out. If a few items are still in use and can't be deleted, simply skip them. It won't affect the overall cleanup. Finally, open the run box one more time and type prefetch, then press enter. If a prompt appears asking for permission, click continue. This folder stores preload data used to help programs launch faster. Select all files with Ctrl plus A and delete them. As before, if some files are in use, skip them without concern. This is completely safe. Doing these three quick cleanups before launching Razer Cortex ensures your system runs leaner and faster. With less junk clogging up your PC, Razer Cortex can focus entirely on pushing out the best performance for Fortnite, giving you smoother gameplay and higher FPS right from the start. To start optimizing Fortnite using Razer Cortex, First, head over to my official website. The link is available in the description. Download and install the software on your PC. After launching it for the first time, you'll be greeted by the login screen. You can sign in with your Google, Facebook, or Twitch account, or create a new Razer ID. However, to skip all the hassle and get started right away, just click on Continue as Guest. This method still gives you full access to all the core performance tools without needing an account. Once you're inside, you'll land on the main dashboard. Here, you'll see your installed games, including Fortnite, if they have already been detected. To begin the optimization process, go to the Game Booster tab, then click on the Boost section. This area contains all the tweaks that will impact Fortnite's performance. Start by turning on Auto Boost. This ensures that every time Fortnite is launched, Cortex will automatically optimize your system in the background. Now move into the Special category within the Boost section. Here, you'll see a list of additional tweaks. Enable the following. Enable CPU core, disable CPU sleeping mode, bye bye, and enable game power solution. Also, check clear clipboard. This frees up RAM by clearing temporary data. These options work together to unlock maximum CPU responsiveness and eliminate idle behavior. However, do not enable the explorer.exe option. Disabling this can temporarily remove your taskbar or desktop icons which might cause issues if Fortnite crashes or you need to Alt-Tab. Next, ensure that Launch Game on Game Desktop and Activate Game Desktop Only when game running from Razer Cortex are both enabled. These two settings activate a focused performance mode where Windows minimizes background interference, giving Fortnite full access to system resources. Under the Processes section, enable the option to let Razer Cortex list currently running background apps. Go through the list manually. Close high memory apps like Chrome, Spotify, or Discord if you're not using them while gaming. However, if you're actively using OBS or Discord for streaming or voice chat, leave them running to avoid disruptions. Also look for unnecessary services like Search Host, Node.js, JavaScript Runtime, Riot Client, Epic Web Helper, Adobe Sync, and OneTime Broker. These can usually be safely closed. They take up CPU cycles and memory even when not needed. The idea is to leave only essential apps and services running so Fortnite can run with maximum stability and smoothness. Now move over to the Services tab. There's no need to tweak anything here manually. Razer Cortex automatically manages which services should be paused during gaming. 
Similarly, skip the No Windows Services section unless you're an advanced user who knows which background services are safe to disable. Next, jump into the FPS Boost section and hit the Boost Now button. This action frees up RAM, shuts down non-essential tasks, and prepares your PC for Fortnite. You'll likely feel the difference right away. Smoother menus, reduced input lag, and fewer background interruptions. After that, go to System Boost from the sidebar and open System Cleanup. Click on Scan to locate junk files like temporary system data, Fortnite cache files, browser leftovers, and app clutter. Once the scan is done, hit Clean to delete all the junk. This not only saves disk space, but also makes game loading faster and more responsive. Now, head into the Speed Up tab. Here you'll find system tweaks like desktop menu responsiveness and cache management. Click Optimize to apply all recommended improvements. These speed up basic Windows operations and improve loading speeds, especially when launching Fortnite or switching between tabs. If your PC still runs on an HDD instead of an SSD, go to the Defrag section. Select Fortnite from the list, then click Scan, followed by Defrag. This rearranges game files on your hard drive so Fortnite loads faster and stutters are minimized. If you already have an SSD, you can skip this. SSDs don't benefit from defragmentation. Once all that's complete, go back to the Game Booster tab and double check that Auto Boost is still on. Click Boost Now one final time. This locks in all settings, flushes your RAM, and gives Fortnite full access to your system's power. After this, minimize Razer Cortex and let it run quietly in the background. From now on, it will auto-launch every time you start your PC, and all you need to do before gaming is hit that Boost button. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. And that's how you unlock Fortnite's full potential using Razer Cortex. If this helped fix your lag or boosted your FPS, do me a favor. Drop a like, subscribe for more real optimization guides, and let me know your results in the comments. Catch you in the next one.